A journey of a thousand miles begins in one single step. And we can prove this to you by sharing with you amazing and inspiring stories of rags to riches, failures to success, business and happiness, one step at a time. Together, we shall turn your passion into action as we guide you to the right direction. I'm your host, Diane Medina, and today there is no slowing down with our journey. Just buckle your seatbelts and I assure you that this is going to be a happy trip. The cool breeze is finally fading, temperatures are quickly rising, and we're sure that everyone is itching to get on a summer adventure, that is. As summertime continues to bang and hang in our doorsteps, we at Loving What You Do will take you up north in pursuit of vacation getaways in this two-part summer special. April and May are said to be the hottest Philippine months, so what's the best thing to do? Hop on the beaches of Cabangan Zambales! First stop is the accidental beach paradise named Joy's Place on the Beach. Actually, galing kami ng Tagaytay from Denmark kasi nag-move kami to Tagaytay. Kaso lang, hindi nagustuhan ng husband ko yung weather doon dahil malamig. One time, nag-visit kami dito for my family. Nakita niya tong place. Nagtanong-tanong kami and then yun nga, nakita namin to. So yun, nag-decide na siyang bilhin tapos nag-build kami for retirement talaga. Then, nung summer 2017, nag-invite kami ng family dito parang gathering. Napagkamalan nila na parang resort ito. Nagtanong sila kung meron bang bakanting rooms, gano'n. Sabi ko, hindi naman po kasi ito ano eh, uh, resort na ano for commercial, ano lang to, private. So parang yun, yung time na yun, nag-come out kami na why not? Kasi tatlo lang naman kami dito sa bahay, walang hindi naman, once lang naman namin ginagamit yung pool. So, sayang. Hindi kami nag-ano na, nag-advertise talaga. As in, talaga hindi naman for business talaga eh. Uh, reviews lang, and their recommendation. Yun, doon kami nag-start, parang paunti-unti, step by step. Meron kaming apat na rooms na aircon, which is may private bath and toilet. And may isa akong room na doon sa back front, doon sa may entrance. May sariling kitchen, may TV siya. So, yun lang yung room na may TV. So, tapos yung dito sa beach front, dalawang aircon. So, isa yung special room. And then, yan, family room, which is uh, ma-accommodate niya ang eight packs. And then, meron akong cabana. They call it Nipahat. Yan, hanggang... Four to five packs naman ang maximum niya. So, bali, apat na aircon at saka dalawang nipahat. Gusto namin, laging yung guest namin is talagang homie sila talaga na yun nga yung pinuntahan nila dito, peace and quiet, tapos mag-over ka ng tao. So, ayoko din yung kasi gusto ko more comfortable talaga yung guest ko. Kung ano yung nakita nila sa page namin, sa Facebook, sa Airbnb, yun yung nakikita nila in person talaga when, when they arrive. Yung malinis talaga kasi yun ang napaka-importante sa guests eh. Sabi nga nila, we don't mind na yung hindi malaki yung room, basta malinis. Yun yung comfortable sila. Haven't had enough beach? Then why not spend a day or two more at Lahar Beaches of Kabangan? This time at Casa Angelina which is, by the way, owned by a missionary couple. So before Roy and I met, so I'm teaching college in Alongapo. So I'm teaching a business subjects and also hotel restaurant services subjects. I was working for a semiconductor company out of uh, Holland. I'm from the U.S. originally. I was a uh, engineering manager for 25 years for the company. And then I was always involved in uh, local churches. Wherever I lived, wherever I worked, I was involved in the, in the local church in some leadership capacity. So we have a Filipino pastor friend, and uh, he's working in Cambodia for many years now. He's a church planter in Cambodia. So Joanne and I met through him. So we're like uh, emailing each other for like a few months, and then after that we personally met here in the Philippines. So the, uh, the reason for me to come to Asia was primarily for missions work. But what happened is uh, once we came here to, uh, to Lawakabangan, we found that uh, there was a need here. And so uh, uh, God led us to uh, start a Sunday school here in 2015. Actually, we had the Sunday school first 
and then the business uh, came right after that. We had a Sunday school 2015 and then the Casa Angelina was just opened last year 2017. When we first have this house so we tried to put up a kubo as you can see outside. So the kubo that's the first rental that we had so it was actually doing good so that's why we had an idea that maybe we can expand through the Casa Angelina. So here in our Kubos, we have two Kubo. One is non-AC, which is a 2,250. That's good for four people already. And then the other one is with AC, so that's 2,800 per night. That's also good for four. And then with Casa Angelina, we actually have two kinds of room. We have um, Ocean View. Uh, the rate is 3,500, good for two persons. And then if you want to add more person, that's additional 500 and then maximum of six in a room. And then the second kind of room is uh, Garden View, that's 3,000 for two people. And then also the same additional 500 for additional person, maximum of six. In Casa Angelina, we don't charge a uh, corkage fee, so the guests can actually bring any uh, food, any drinks, and then they, we actually have an outdoor kitchen that they can also use and then we, there's no additional charge for it. I think the difference with our food is like we don't put MSG, so it's all natural ingredients. We cook it uh, traditionally. Well, I think at first they were saying that it's the vibes of the place and then I think it's also the service, like the people here are warm and then you know, the people are friendly and also the area here, it's not so crowded yet, unlike the other place here in Zambales. But for those who are looking for a less private beach experience, then the Blue Rock Resort of Olongapo Zambales definitely fits the bill. This portion was brought to you by Casa Angelina. Joy's Place on the Beach. But for those who are looking for a less private beach experience, then the Blue Rock Resort of Olongapo Zambales definitely fits the bill. Blue Rock Resort is located in Balay Long Beach, Barrio Barreto, Olongapo City, Zambales. It has uh, 41 beachfront rooms and uh, open 24 hours. Aside from 24-hour bar and restaurant, we also have our swimming pool, and a seasonal floating bar, which is also open between 12 noon until 10 p.m. every day. Blue Rock Resort offers 41 luxurious rooms from standard beachfront room, superior beachfront room, beachfront room with private lunch, deluxe back room, junior suite room, and junior suite poolside room. Our rooms has its flat TV screen, fully air-conditioned, mini bar, toiletries, private safety boxes, and a 24-hour on-call service. Room rates ranging from 1,800 pesos up to 4,900 pesos nightly. If food is what you're after, Blue Rock won't let you feel the blues as they have a wide array of gastronomic selections. Before I start yan, 50 dishes lang. So nung pumalit ako rito, so nagdagdag ako. Actually, hindi kami nag-serve sa Pilipino before. So ngayon nagdagdag kami most for Pilipino. May meron kami European, meron din kunting Western. Binabalik-balik na ng steak ko kasi may steakhouse kami. So yun ang paborito na lang. And to cap off the first part of our summer special, Take a short ride from Blue Rock Resort and head on to a place where you can float and bounce to your heart's content. Roughly the size of eight basketball courts, the inflatable island currently holds the title for the biggest floating playground in Asia. Everyone will surely have a marvelous time as they slip, slide, tumble, and fall through the one-hour fun-filled course. So first, we need to build a ticket. You can avail at www.inflatableisland.com. Makikita nyo na po doon yung mga different kinds of ticket, passes, or yung mga amenities. And then, kung mag-walk in naman po, we have the ticket booth in the front. And then, doon nyo na po makikita yung categories ng tickets. And then, after, bibigyan ko kayo ng ticket. Diretso po tayo sa orientation para sa mga do's and don'ts, orientation, briefings. And then, we have the lockers para sa mga secured po yung mga valuable things. And then, as you can see here, we have the valley lounge, the picnic tables, 
para ko sa kayo po pwede magstay. Pag dito ay sa inflatable. And then after noon, kapag change gear na po tayo, total outfit, we have the live vest station. Do not not i-claim yung mga live vest. And then after that, proceed na po tayo sa inflatables. Kasama ng mga lifeguards, i-assist po tayo. The inflatable itself, they have the different kind of obstacles. So simulan natin sa mga basically here, yung mga platforms, different kind of slides. We have the lumen launcher, the iceberg, and then yung pinaka-automate favorite ng lahat, syempre, the Tarzan Swing. And then a whole lot more sa mga obstacles dito sa, sa loob. Ang pinaka na gustuhan kong activities nila is yung human launcher. It has a unique experience, fun all in all. Ito yung inaabangan natin this coming summer, especially para sa mga kids. So ito yung tinatawag natin Kids Cove or the Unicorn Island. So it's roughly, it's about 400 square meter. Open na siya for sa, sa mga kids. So we have total of 20 lifeguards designated sa mga areas natin all over the inflatable island. And then, if ever batumba, mahulog, don't worry kasi baka generous, mababay itong mga lifeguards natin. Tutulungan, tutulungan po namin kayo pag gano'n. So aside from inflatable, yeah, at makikita nyo, we have the Bali Launch, kung saan kayo pwede magpahinga, inspired from the Bali, kung makikita ko yan, then the bean bags. Sa mga mag-commute, you can ride a bus from Manila and going here sa their Ologa po. Tanong nyo lang yung mga driver natin sa Blue Jeep or Tricycle. Kilalang-kilala na po agad nila sa Inflatable Island. So sila mismo mag-ahatid sa iyo dito, sir. Sa so, operating hours natin, sir, the play starts at 8, but then the operation starts at 7. So we have uh, one hour before the play, syempre, para ma-clear natin yung area to make sure everything's fine and everything's clean. And then ganoon din sa pag out uh, the, the operation will stop at 6. And then we allot one hour more to clearing the area para kadabukasan hindi, hindi siya ganun kamersi then ready for the operation again. There you have it! We splashed and washed our way through the beaches and shores of Alongapo and Subic, but the summer is just getting started and so are we! This portion was brought to you by Inflatable Island Blue Rock Resort This portion is brought to you by Bless Amare Sunrise Resort. The vast ocean caressing the beach, coupled with the majestic sunrise, is the stuff that makes a dream vacation. Jessica Malones took it to her heart and epitomized it through the Bless Amare Sunrise Resort, a four-hectare haven designed to showcase the untouched splendor of Baleangao Misamis Occidental. The municipality of Baleangao Misamis Occidental is known as the seafoods like uh, seashells, itong resort, na, like beaches, itong Bless Amare Sunrise Resort kilalang kilala na dito sa Balyangao. At higit sa lahat din, yung mga tao, mababait po yung mga tao dito. Kaya safe po kayong pumunta dito. Sobrang ganda yung, yung environment. Sobrang linaw ng tubig. At sa higit sa lahat, yung parang uh, pag nandito ka na, parang ayaw mo nang umuwi sa Maynila. Parang gusto mo na dito na lang, kung pwede lang. Nakikita nila sa website at saka word of mouth na din siguro. So, pumupunta sila. Hindi nang naman taga rito eh. Taga Dav, from Davao, from Dipolog, Usamis. Hindi lang taga rito ang pumupunta. Kasi by, ano yan sila, by van, by bus, yung mga outing nila. Dito sila pumupunta. At saka siguro, nang dahil din siguro sa entrance na 40 pesos ang entrance lang. So, makakaligo na sila. Very affordable. Kasi gusto namin maranasan ang mga tao na kahit na parang exclusive yung resort, maranasan nila yung ambience na maganda at uh, minsan lang nila nakikita. Ang Bless Amari Sunrise, ino-offer namin yung uh, rock formation na magagandang ambience, magagandang tanawin at higit sa lahat, very clear yung, yung tubig dito. So, maganda ito sa mga prenup, mga weddings, uh, ito yung ino-offer namin para sa ambience sila, maganda sila. Lalong-lalo na doon sa gustong mag-picture uh, sa Instagram, 
at saka sa Facebook, pwedeng-pwede siguro ito. Kaya tinatawag na sunrise kasi ito ang perfect view pag naka-sunrise na siya. Napaka-majestic yung uh, color ng, ng sun pag umaakyat na siya. At ilan sa mga activities na pwedeng puntahan dito ng mga magkabarkada at especially yung family outing ay yung uh, banana boat, jet ski, and also the sea seats. May cottage kami, 1,500, good for four person. So meron din kaming villa na meron na siyang one bedroom, uh, CR, meron na rin siyang um, day race, which is 5,000, good for family. Pag may family outing, pwede na sila doon. Para pumunta dito, at from Manila, sasakay lang sila ng to Dipolog. From Dipolog Airport, pwede silang sasakay ng van o mag-rental ng van. Mga one hour pa, papunta dito. Pwede rin silang sumakay ng bus, tapos bababa ng kalamba. Pagdating ng kalamba, sasakay na sila ng tricycle, papunta naman dito sa Blessed Amal Sunrise, at sabihin lang nilang, Balyangaw. Pwede nyo kami ilike sa Facebook at Instagram sa Blessed Amari Sunrise Resort. I'm Jessie Maloles of Blessed Amari Sunrise Resort and I'm loving what I do. This portion was brought to you by Blessed Amari Sunrise Resort.